a professor in mechanical department. Welcome you all for this video lecture series on computer aided engineering drawing. Under this video lecture series, you are going to learn different topics as shown in outline. Unit number one, introduction to engineering drawing. Unit number two, basics of AutoCAD. Unit number three, orthographic projections using AutoCAD. So let us begin with first unit, introduction to computer aided drawing and lesson number one what is and why engineering drawing so on your screen you can see one sample of engineering drawing or you can say drawing sheet in our Kolapur we have four to five MIDCs like Kagal five star MIDC, Goku Shirga MIDC then Shiroli MIDC and Udyam Nagar so if you go and visit any manufacturing industry you can see such a kind of drawing sheets or you can say production drawings on the shop floor wherein the workers who are working on the different machines they are having such a kind of sheets by just looking at these drawing sheets and by reading these drawing sheets they understand what is to be manufactured on the machines so the knowledge of engineering drawing is very much essential in for every engineers now next is what is engineering drawing engineering drawing is the graphical means of expression of technical details without language barrier it is universal language and language of all persons involved in engineering activities starting from idea to develop a product wherein ideas are converted into the technical drawings and sketches with some execution of manufacturing work like say suppose some uh, uh, somebody is having his own idea in his mind and if he want to communicate this idea with another person so it is very easy to convey this idea by just drawing some sketches and some specifications on the drawing sheet and he can communicate his idea through these drawings without any language barrier so that's why it is also called a called as language of engineer because communication in engineering field is done by drawings now why engineering drawing before the start of civilization human beings uses language of symbols because picture speaks thousand of word rather than just reading the description so here for demonstration i have given one photograph wherein some description written under this photograph a ball bounced thrice over the rocks and fell into the water with a splash so to get the scene behind this picture you have to read until that finish the statement otherwise you will not get the entire uh, things but if you show that picture to someone he can easily understood the scene behind that particular uh, event so that's why instead of written things the pictures and symbols that will be easy to understand so it conveys technical information and design ideas to engineers and other professionals throughout the design process and why engineering drawing because it is easy to remember and no language barrier in this so what is language barrier so language barriers here on the slide i have written one alphabet in the red color that is alphabet a which everyone can understand but by with simple common sense on other side it is inverted a it can be also easily understood by simple common sense but it is very difficult to understand what is there in middle that is what language barrier the same thing that language barrier is explained over here in this figure so if you see and just look at, at this picture you can easily understood what it is you just try this activity try to write a description of this object and test your written description by having someone attempt to make a sketch from this description it is hardly impossible to get the outcome of this written description 
to exactly what shown in this picture. So, here you can easily understand that the word languages are inadequate for describing the size, shape and features completely as well as concisely. That is what uh, the easiness of this graphic language. Now, let us understand the composition of graphic language. Similar to regular our uh, different languages like English and Marathi. In English, we have alphabets like from A to Z and if you combine these alphabets, you will get the word. If you combine the word, you will get the sentences and if you combine the sentences, you will get the paragraph and if you combine the paragraph, the meaningful story. Similarly, in engineering drawing or you can say graphical language, there are certain elements. Now, what are these elements like point, lines and then surfaces, edges and contours. If you combine these elements, you will get the proper object. So, you have to combine these elements properly similar to the language in English wherein you have to write the proper word and proper sentences with grammatically correct English. Then and then only you will get the meaningful sentences. So, the language is known as drawing or drafting because you are communicating with other person through some sketches and drawing. A drawing can be done using, this drawing can be done by using freehand with instruments or computer methods. So, if you draw with free hands, it is called as freehand drawing wherein you are you only using pencils and eraser and this is the example of freehand drawing without any drawing instrument. One more type of this drawing is instrument drawing wherein you are using some drawing instruments like scale, compass, protractor and some set squares. That is why it is called as instrumental drawing. So, this is what instrumental drawing and last type is computer drawing wherein you are using the help of some drawing software such as AutoCAD, SolidWork, etc. So, with the help of these software, you can easily draw the different drawings. And in next lecture, we will discuss about AutoCAD software and its graphical user and some basic commands which are associated with AutoCAD. Thank you.